Hello and welcome back. Today we've been talking about dating, mixing and matching. Well, what about just going to lunch with someone? I'm joined right now by Mikai Brown. You're a director at It's Just Lunch. Correct. It's Just Lunch is a dating service for busy professionals. Oh, busy professionals. Right. So what? I know that the name of it is It's Just Lunch. Mm -hmm. Is that exactly what it is? No, I feel like in the past year we've been sending up more drink dates. You know, everyone's busy, so oh. not most people work through their lunch hour. But it was really designed to put busy professionals together, and we do all the work, you know, so that they can network. And when you say busy professionals, so mm -hmm. you obviously have to have a job? Of course, okay. all of everyone that I work with, they, uh, everyone's employed. Most okay. of the people have at least a four-year degree. The vast majority of them have advanced degrees. Wow, is that a requirement about no, the not at all. I okay. mean, there's I have plenty of entrepreneurs that started up their own company 20 years ago and they're doing great. And, you know, they never went to college. Okay, yeah. Um, but the premise behind it is not that my clients can't date on their own. They're just not dating at work or they don't want to go to the bars. Because to if people. they're professional, it's hard to get out there exactly. and really mix and mingle. Right. So that's where you guys come in. Exactly. Okay, so how do you do it? Let's say I ditch the husband for a day, just pretend, okay. and I sign up with the company. Okay, perfect. Okay, so what so goes this on? is what happens. So you and I will sit down, we'll have an interview very much like this, and we'll go over exactly what's worked for you and what hasn't. We'll wow. talk about the things that you like to do. We'll talk about friends and family because these are all things that are important. Not just, okay, I want a guy that's over six feet between the ages of 30 and, you know, 42. Yes. So a lot goes into the interview. We'll talk about your past relationships. We'll talk about how you're meeting people now. And at the end of our interview, I should know a minimum of probably about 12 people that's a good fit for you. Wow, and is this like through a database that you have that you can look through and be like, oh, Nick would be great or Fred would be great. Exactly. I mean, like, is that exactly. a database that you it's, have? I hate calling it a database okay. because we're not like a we're like people a here. Trap. We're people here, of course. But yes, everyone's put into like a system per se, but not really because we do everything by hand. So I don't use a computer at work. Okay. Everything is hands done, hand done. Oh. Each person has their own individual file. Love and it. so it's more of like a personalized approach. What, how I describe myself as like a friend. Do you so know what I mean? Is it, yeah, so, and I feel like it's almost a double whammy because not only are you probably going to find someone that you're compatible with, but then you also have made a friend, someone that exactly. knows you a little bit more exactly. than just filling out a few little things saying, this is what I want. Now, right. here's one of my main questions. Mm -hmm. The guys, let's say, since I'm the one going through this, um, the guys that you would set me up on mm -hmm. with, are they in... Are they a part of your group or do you sometimes go out and recruit? Exactly. So if you were a regular It's Just Lunch client, I would match you inside of the service with my members, which is great. I mean, I have amazing people inside of our what service. What if there wasn't enough people or is that ever an issue? It's never an issue, but I do have clients that want a more personalized search. I have okay. certain clients that would be a good fit for our elite division. Elite and division? What yeah. is this? Yeah. Our elite division was designed for someone that's just really at their point of their lives Will they'll stop at nothing to find the person that they're supposed to be with. Oh, wow. So the elite searches, no individual private memberships the same, and it was really tailored to the individual. So what I do is I only take on 10 clients at any given time and we meet for way longer than an hour. We talk about like, you know, way in deep with your family, your friends, exactly oh, what it is you're looking for. Oh, a lot of that goes into it. Oh, totally. Yes. And so then I go outside of the service and recruit women on your behalf. Or men, in my case. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Yeah, so you go out and recruit on behalf of them. Now right. tell me this. This is a crazy question. Mm -hmm. Do you work only with women? Because I'm just picturing it. You're working with some guy, mm -hmm. and he's like, why can't I take you out? Oh. Like, how, I mean, has that ever happened? Oh, of course it does. I don't date my clients, although oh. I would date several of them. Oh. <laughs> yes. But, um... Well, the really the, the best part about the elite division is what I like. I'll give you an instance. Just, okay. just today, I'm at McDonald's. I'm working with... Um, an Indian client of mine who's very particular about the person he wants to find. Ooh. So that's why he's suited for me because he wants he has these very strict parameters, which I may not have in abundance in It's Just Lunch. Right. So I'm in the McDonald's line. Don't ask why I'm at McDonald's. I'm supposed to be on a detox right now. <laughs> but I'm we in won't the tell. right. Okay. But I'm um, in the McDonald's line. I see this beautiful girl. I mean, she was gorgeous. Anytime I see anyone beautiful, I gotta talk to you. Like, yeah. who are you? Who do you know? Who looks like you? Because I'm working are with you various married? clients. They're like, right, are exactly. you exactly? Like, no. no. No, it's I'm a matchmaker. Lunch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so she was gorgeous, and she legitimately did have a nice bag. So I wasn't just bringing up the bag because it was cute. Yeah. She had a great bag. I'm like, where did you get this bag from? And she's like, oh, I had it shipped from India. I'm like, get out. I'm Bingo. like, so is it fake? So I wanted to know if it's fake, I want a, I want a good deal. So yeah. can you ship me one? But long story short, she told me that she was single and that she, you know, she used to, she was born in India. She's been here for 15 years. She came in to interview with me. Oh, that is fabulous. So just and that it quick. Could be 
that match for that guy. Exactly. I love it. So there's two different levels, completely personalized, a whole mm -hmm. different approach. It's just lunch. We got to blare it from the mountaintops, but I feel like this is a great search for someone who is really busy out in the workforce but still wants to find that love connection. Exactly. Thank you so much, Mikai, for coming on. Thanks. Okay, guys, coming up next, we have so much more. We are going to talk about a social network. Now, we're not talking about Facebook here. You're actually going to meet more people and you could get a relationship out of it. We'll be right back. This show is brought to you by Saigon Sisters, home of Chicago's Breakout Chef of the Year.